I was hiking in the North Clevenger Canyon Trail in Escondido, California when I encountered this vine growing literally everywhere in the chaparral and in the mountains. It's uh, growing on top of some lemonade berry bushes right here and as you can see it'll keep climbing until it gets to the top. It has these little white flowers with five petals each and that's how I identified it as a cucamonga manroot or just the manroot sometimes as it's known. It's also known as the wild cucumber, but the scientific name is Mara macrocarpus. It's very closely related to the California man root. It's called the wild cucumber because it's related to the garden cucumber that we farm and eat, as well as other melons and squashes. So unlike the garden variety, all parts of this plant are somewhat toxic, or very toxic. So the other common name, man root, comes from the large tuberous root, that may be the size and shape of a sleeping man. And here you can see these uh, tendrils form coils, much like you witnessed in my honeydew growing series. And this was the original, you know, foam cord coil before foam cord coils. And here's a shoot apical marrow stem. There's just so much stuff going on. I don't even know how you begin to describe everything that's going on in there. When I first saw this vine in the chaparral, I was immediately reminded of the buffalo gourd. And I have a video of that on my channel as well. You can do a search for it. The buffalo gourd has a giant tuber that's perennial and much like this plant, it sends out seasonal or just annual vines that shrivel up and die by the end of the season. So all this water and all these nutrients and as well as toxins are stored underground in giant tuber. In the Rancho Santa Ana Botanical Gardens, a specimen of this species had a tuber that weighed 212 kilograms so it's truly giant and sometimes that comes in the shape and form of a sleeping man. The tuber contains a substance that stuns fish so Native Americans fished with this tuber by crushing it and throwing pieces into ponds and streams. The delicate vines may reach up to 8 meters in length. The mature fruit of this plant which you won't see any footage of right now because it's January 2014 resembles a little green spiky hand grenade and they're said to explode with such force that you can hear them. So there's a story from the San Alijo Lagoon Conservancy Nature Center in which some were placed on a desk for several weeks. And one day the morning rangers arrived to find that bits of cucumber and seeds were everywhere because they had exploded overnight. So here in the background you can see what the vines look like after they die off. 